Let me just say, this is the most incredible political feat I have seen in my lifetime. This is something you've heard me say time and again. Seven out of ten Americans, they do not like the direction our country is going. Many of our fellow citizens feel alienated and have lost faith in our core institutions. They don't feel heard and they don't feel represented by those in office. But Donald Trump heard a voice out in this country that no one else heard. He connected, with, he connected in ways with people no one else did. He turned politics on its head. And now Donald Trump will lead a unified Republican government. And we will work hand in hand on a positive agenda to tackle this country's big challenges. I want to congratulate my friend Mike Pence. Mike Pence is a good man, a principled conservative, and he will make a great vice president. I want to congratulate Reince Priebus. You need to know how proud we are in Wisconsin of Reince Priebus. What he has done to rebuild our party is remarkable. I want to congratulate Mitch McConnell and our Republican colleagues in the Senate. I want to congratulate Ron Johnson, something that we worked so hard here at home on his victory. Ron, Scott Walker, and I just spent four days on a bus in Wisconsin crisscrossing this state, urging all Republicans to come together to unify to win, and that's exactly what happened. It was close quarters at time, and it was worth it to get Ron back in the next six years. Of course, I'm immensely proud of the campaign that our House members and our candidates ran. I want to congratulate Greg Walden and the team at the NRCC and our entire House leadership team. What a phenomenal job. Look at it this way. Our House majority is bigger than expected. We won more seats than anyone expected. And much of that is thanks to Donald Trump. Donald Trump provided the kind of coattails that got a lot of people over the finish line so that we could maintain our strong House and Senate majorities. Now we have important work to do. Many months ago, Republicans in the House united around a bold, specific agenda for this country. It offers a better way forward for America, and it will help us hit the ground running as we work with Donald Trump to do this. We will honor the timeless principles that our country was founded on. Liberty, freedom, free enterprise, consent of the governed. And we will apply those principles to the problems of the day. This is the kind of unified Republican government that we set out to deliver. I want to close with this. There is no doubt our democracy can be very messy. And we do remain a sharply divided country. But now, as we do every four years, we have to work to heal the divisions of a long campaign. I think President-elect Donald Trump set the perfect tone last night for doing just this. And I know President Obama and Secretary Clinton are committed to bringing the country together. This needs to be a time of redemption, not a time of recrimination. We all need to rededicate ourselves to making America great and making it a more perfect union.